G'day everybody, Mark Weir from Tech and Tools and on today's episode uh, what we're going to look at is the top, or my top 10 apps that I just cannot live without. So, with any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, the first app that I just cannot go without is my weather app. Now in Australia it's called the Bureau of Meteorology, just have a look at that. I'm sure there are many other apps um, in for other countries, um, you have to look around. Um, but this here is where all the main news channels or whatnot get their information from. Um, you can obviously see the temperature, max, minimums. Um, you can change locations and stuff like that. Let's go back to, I live in Adelaide, South Australia. So let's go back here. Um, it gives you sort of as you go through the day roughly what it's gonna, they think it's gonna do. Of course, never. So it looks like by tomorrow morning it's going to be raining again. Um, <clears throat> excuse my voice. Um, and it also gives you the forecast for the next, um, you know, week or week. Um, so, yep, look completely bleak there. 80% chance of rain, you know. So, yeah, that's one of the, the, that's the first one that I would say that I cannot do without. Next, I would say would be, um, it's kind of, I use sort of two apps. Um, I use both Family Link, Google Family Link, to help find my children uh, who are young. Uh, they go riding their bikes and whatnot, and you know, if they need to call me or there's an emergency, they've got that. Or um, I also have um, uh, Find My Kids, um, which is a, you know, um, you have to pay for this app, unfortunately, um, this one particularly, but it's pretty good, I think. Um, yeah, so, um, and it can keep me in contact with them. Um, this is some issues at the moment because, um, I don't, kids keep stuffing around with their phones. It gives me the shits. Anyway, so yeah, so there's, there's another couple of apps that I can't go without is like in regards to just keeping an eye on where my children are because um, they are still fairly young. So, yeah, there we go. There's the second one. Um, the third one is one that I cannot live without. I am a guy. I do not like to go to the shops and wander around. I know the ladies out there, that's your thing. But eBay. I love eBay. I buy pretty much everything I need off of eBay. That is one app and it's pretty self-explanatory that I cannot live with. And I suppose that goes in conjunction with PayPal. Um, they work both together. I use PayPal for the um, secure payments and stuff like that. So that is one of the apps that I love using the most. The next app is one that I use so much and it's a unit converter app. Um, there are many what, different types of um, unit converting apps out there um, between Android and iOS um, and you let you change everything from length, area, volume, currency like temperature so uh, 30 degrees in centigrade <coughs> excuse me is 86 degrees Fahrenheit um, my favorite one is minus 40 Degree centigrade is minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> um, speed, you know, um, 100, oh, how we go? Let's go look here. 100 kilometers per hour is 100, should be 160 miles per hour. So, sorry, 60 miles per hour is 100 kilometers per hour. That's right. Anyway, don't worry about that. So, yeah, very. <laughs> I'm getting myself confused. That's why I use this so much. It's a very, very good app for conversions and comes in handy so much. So, yeah, unit conversions. Um, the next app I use a lot um, is in regards to um, digital business cards. And I use Blink. Now, my wife runs a. Um, 
a, a sort of an online online shop. Um, as you can see here, it's called Rockabilly Chick Clothing, um, and um, basically what you, this allows you to do is it, it's it's got a QR code there that people can uh, if you know use their QR scanner and use that, um, which is very very good. Um, and the other thing also is, is that it allows you to put it on your home screen, and I wonder if I find a space for it there. Um, which is really really good so you can quickly flick it out someone can just scan it um, and yep you're done um, they you know they can get access to the website um, yep and or the information like uh, the email address and obviously what's for sale so um, something that I use actually quite a lot with people and um, getting them on my you know my wife's website so she can buy um you know earn some cash the next biggest one i have to say would be google pay um you can also use samsung pay or apple pay um you cannot go wrong with these on you know it's getting to the point where you don't even need to carry an actual card anymore um these that can hold all of your that's one of my flybys cards for for the shopping. They can hold all your cards, like your zip cards, your bank cards, debit cards, but also your loyalty cards. Super Cheap Auto is a, um, a, a like a car store here in Australia. Medicare is our medical system. There's a chemist one. Flybys is your royalties for using um, at the supermarket, and of course, COVID nineteen digital certificate stuff. Um, so that is something you can add public transports gift cards um, yes a lot there with those sorts of apps um, they are brilliant um, obviously you can't get um, Apple Pay on an Android phone but you could get Google Pay or I think I've got Samsung Pay here somewhere um, anyway so yes that is another one I can't live without um, the next one I can't live without I use so much is the calculator who doesn't need a calculator every now and again um, and the good thing with these calculators obviously is that you can turn them sideways and you get more of a scientific calculator if you can see that which is really really good so um, I'm a registered nurse so it helps a lot for doing um, medication calculations if you just want to double check your math um, clearly 1 plus 1 equals 2 um, <laughs> so um, extremely useful app I use it all the time cannot go without it um, the next one I use all the time is I use Google Assistant so hey Google show me the shopping list Oh, it's actually picked up there in my other room. <laughs> but generally, if I'm not here, it'll show me my shopping list. Um, but you can set timers, you can check the weather, turn on the flashlight, um, get songs playing and everything like that. It is an amazing app. I really can't live without it anymore. Um, it's, it's fantastic. So let's try this again. Oh. Hey, Google, show me the shopping list, please. quite a few things on that list Ooh, there you go so yeah um, I personally love the shopping list side of things because um, as you go along you can tick you know tick things that you've picked up um, bin them or whatever you know um, very very useful app when you're at the shops you don't have to worry about writing down lists anymore um, and losing them or leaving them at home because how often do you leave your phone at home and how often do you leave your list at home? Because I used to leave the list at home all the time. So yes, that's one of the apps I can't go without. The next app I can't really go without, and I suppose a lot of people as well, would be Messenger. Um, Messenger is just huge. You know, um, who doesn't use Messenger these days? Um, text messaging costs you money. These days, Messenger, most people have, you know, it's a lot cheaper to use. Um, if you don't know about that, or if you've been living, you must be under a rock. 
Um, but it is fantastic app. I can't live without it. Self-explanatory. Um, and last but not least is this is kind of two apps, but Apple Music or Spotify. I cannot live without my music. Um, cannot live without my music. So I have so many different types of. Oh, look, I'm a like classical piano player, so I love my piano, um, my classical music. Um, but I, at the same time very much grew up in the 90s so I love my 70s, 80s, 90s and noughties music um, got my <laughs> I'm a dad now so I call it dad's mix um, used to be my, just Michael's mix um, so yeah um, love my music um, so whether that be Apple Music or Spotify or whatever, you, whatever floats your boat um, yeah cannot go without the music so yeah, there's the uh, 10, plus 1, t plus 2, sorry, 4, 8, 9, 10 apps, oh, I don't need that one, that I need, that I love the most, so that, oh. so yeah, there's the top 10 apps that I cannot live without. So yeah, thank you for watching the video. Um, Please hit that like button and that subscribe button. Nearly at a thousand subscribers. Um, and maybe I'll do another video next time on some really cool apps. Because so, I've got some really, really cool apps on here um, that can do some really awesome things um, and be very, very useful. So, um, yeah. Um, let's see what happens in the future. But in, in the meantime, thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you like. And... Yep, catch you later.